Super quick one for you. I've got an engine management light on my uh, Mercedes SL and I'm going to use the King Bolin, the K10 Pro, to clear it. And it's no more complicated than that. Just thought I'd get that video out there because it's the sort of thing that you guys like to see. So this is what's showing on my dash. A nasty little engine management light there. I don't know what it is. It's probably down to a sensor because I did have a problem with an aging sensor. So the King Bolin K10 Pro actually is Bluetooth setup. So you simply take the dongle and plug it in. Then once it's plugged in, it will beep at you. Simply turn on your K10 Pro and it's got a lovely little topological feature on this and it will show you like a family tree of where all the issues are. So it's now going to communicate with the Bluetooth dongle. So we're going to go straight into intelligent diagnostic. It's going to automatically find my VIN code. You don't need to put it in. And it's found it down the bottom there. So I press diagnose. You choose the year of your car, make sure the ignition is on. And this is the topological view and it's going to start running through all of these individual components. So you hit smart scan, starting at the bottom here, you can see it's gone to the ADAS, it's going to find the Distronic with the distance radar, I don't actually have that. It's got the power functions here, your TCM, your ESM, and as you work your way through you can see it's grouped it into areas, for example, Safety has got the SBC, Sensor Tonic Brake Control. It's also got the ESP, which is your Electronic Stability Program. So as it works its way through the list, you can see it going into the various different control modules. And if you want to get an idea of just how long it's got to go, simply go to the top here and press System List. And here you can see I've got 86% and it's running through. So all the ones in red here have got faults. All the ones in green have got a nice clean bill of health. So let it do its thing. It's nearly there, 93% at the moment. So let that run through. It will take about seven or eight minutes. And whilst that's running through, you might find that there'll be certain lights and warning messages that beep at you and show on the dashboard. Don't get too alarmed about that. That's normal. And it's just because it's going into that individual control unit along the way. So give it time, let it do its full system diagnostic, and then we'll see what the issues are afterwards. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, good. So it's come to the 100% now. It's got to the end of the list go to the system topology there you can see now it will tell you in all the areas of the car where the faults are audio system I've actually taken this command unit radio out just yesterday as I was trying a new screen so that's probably why I've got an issue there and if you look at the way down there it's showing me that I've got faults in all these other different areas the system list there puts it all at the top so the one I'm interested in is engine control module and hopefully it's going to give me an idea of why I've got this on my dashboard so let's press that and it's going on about a short circuit to ground. I've actually changed this sensor, which is a little bit disappointing really because I've only just replaced it and now it's saying it's gone again. So it's telling me here that the sensor before the cat is short circuit to ground and it's suggesting that the sensor is gone. And actually what's quite disappointing about that is I've just replaced that. I've done a video on it. Probably that's a good thing that I do the channel because it reminds me when I've done the sensor, but it must have only been about three months ago. So to think that it's gone again now, that's not too, too good. And I know this from experience that whenever I've bought electrical parts, such as like a mass airflow sensor, an ABS sensor, you're better off spending money because um, you can get some products out there that only seem to last a short space of time. So maybe I'm going to have to replace that sensor again. So, uh, but it also says on here about the sensor after the cat. So it's looking like both the oxygen sensors are giving me issues. But it has come and gone. That, that light actually hasn't always been on. It seems to come on and go off. So it could just be down to these sensors. Maybe, maybe the cat's uh, had its day. After all, it's 21 years old. I hope not, because they're really expensive. So what you can do is take a screenshot of this, and then you can remember what those faults are. So if you pull, so if you pull the screen down, just like a, a tablet, there should be an option up here to take a screenshot. I think it's that one. Right, so let's enter into this and see if we can clear the code. So switch on ignition, yes. And here we've got different options. You've got actuation tests. I don't think you can do anything with the sensor, but let's have a look anyway. Wow, purge control valve, air pump switch valve, throttle valve actuator. It's got a lot of things you can do, but I don't think that's going to be anything to do with the sensors there. Mixture adaptation, no, okay. So we'll go back. 
and let's go to you can also just whilst we're on this page here you can see you've got variant coding you've got coding backup and reserve i think i see if you're switching from one unit to another an old to a new one um, you've got read data stream here and here you can actually look at all the live information smooth engine running let's go into that one cinder to one two three so let's press these and press ok and we can show it on a graph so these are all the different cylinders in the engine and you can see if they're all working in unison together if i give it a little rev let's go back and let's have a look at the overview here so you can see that the numbers are looking fairly consistent which is nice and i'm now going to go into clearing the fault code so press clear fault codes are you sure you want to clear the fault codes it's then going to tell me to turn the engine off and on again so i'm going to move my so let's press yes here we can see on the dashboard and it says switch off ignition switch off ignition press ok it says fault memory is clearing wait 10 seconds i'm going to put it back on again we're going to see if the fault light's gone it says switch on ignition oh -ho -ho! no fault light there let's press ok and it says fault memory completed and importantly we don't have a light so what i like to do is go back to reading the fault codes and let's see if they've gone there you go nothing nothing's found let's go right back out the menu and now my engine control module is now down at the bottom of the list and whilst we're here let's go into the sensitonic brake control i seem to have an issue with that it says the abs module there so let's go into that one switch on ignition which it is here you can see there's not quite as many menus because unlike the previous menu there's not so much you can physically do and each menu would differ in the quantity and what you can actually uh, look into you've got special function there let's have a look at that one and as you do it there'll be lights that come up on your dash don't worry about that that's just telling you that you're in that control module and that the braking is going to be reduced and that will then go once you come back out of that control module so you've got a deactivate system sbc there that's really handy when you're changing the brakes on the car and then you can reactivate it on the right and there's a control module reset now now this is quite an interesting one because i know that these cars they only have a set number of pedal presses for the sensor brake control after which that's it you 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 then have to somehow get it reset and you can buy modules i've seen online i've never used them and i'm not saying whether they're good or bad but they somehow reconfigure it and it will take the sbc function off i love to think you better do it with this unit um, but i'm going to go into this module anyway there's so much that this king bowling k10 pro can do i'm just touching the surface but it's always good to do these little videos just so that you can get an idea so let's have a look and see what's in that menu so control module reset what's it going to say function not reset it says okay <laughs> i think we'll leave it at that right let's go back and try and clear the code clear the fault code are you sure you want to clear the fault code yes it's going to say to turn the engine off and on again after 10 seconds switch off ignition okay ignition off clearing fault memory turn it back on again it's back on again press ok it says fault memory clearing is complete and let's go and read the fault codes and it's gone so it's actually saying that there's no fault codes there now now whether that will come back time will tell but it's gone for the moment and let's lastly let's go into this electronic stability program abs control electronic stability program and the can communication of the engine control module so let's try and clear those switch ignition on and then it's going to tell me to turn it off right let's go clear fault code yes want to clear it it's going to say switch off ignition ignition's off press ok wait 10 seconds switch on ignition and it says it's completed so let's go back and see if we can read the fault code no fault codes found so you know i've said this so many times that these cars these days i mean this is 21 years old this car but some of the modern cars are literally like computers on wheels and i think some of these older cars are a little bit more forgiving because some of the new modern cars if you literally get one fault it can shut it down and put it into limp mode and you can't actually go anywhere you've got to get yourself a diagnostic tool i think in this day and age and it it just takes all the guesswork out 
there's going to be reasons why those sensors and why the lights came up. And with the help of a device such as the King Bolin K10 Pro, it's going to allow you then to sort of pinpoint what you need to actually do rather than thinking, I wonder if it could just be this, or I wonder if it could be that. And the money that you invest and spend in one of these over time, it's going to serve you well, because if you get other cars, you can also diagnose those as well. This device here does every single car on the planet. That's over 10,000 different types of cars and it's hands-free. And I've done loads of videos. I'm going to put the links below for you. I've done full reviews on this. This is just touching the surface today because I generally had a fault in my car and I thought I'm going to get my King Bolin out and get it cleared. And then you can see we went into other menus and you can also clear those as well. So down below, there's a full review on this. I've also done comparisons with the likes of the Launch X431 Pro Elite as well. So you can see what you're getting value for money. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting to the end of it. And if this is your sort of thing, I've got a lovely little playlist just here which is all about car diagnostics i'll see you on the next one bye for now but at least my light is off that dashboard